We were just talking about oxidation therapy, and I want to elaborate on some of my concerns. We're seeing a horrible rise in worldwide infections. There's the Ebola virus, there's AIDS, there's staph, that is staph bacteria that, that are resistant to virtually every antibiotic. There are fears that there will be plagues. Our population is getting more dense, there's air travel, and we hear all the time of threats of terrorists dropping clouds of anthrax or other bad diseases that could spread through society and with the jet age it could travel very quickly. Germs are becoming resistant to back germs are becoming resistant to antibiotics, just like bugs become resistant to pesticides. The problem will only get worse. The beauty of the oxidation therapies is there's never been a reported case of resistance. Germs have had thousands of years to get resistant to ultraviolet. They can't. There's only a few bacteria that can survive in the air. Ozone kills bacteria. Can they develop resistance to that? Not very easily. These are treatments that augment the immune system and kill bacteria by nature's mechanism of killing bacteria. Ultraviolet is nature's cleanser. It's ultraviolet that breaks down chemicals in the environment. It's unlikely the bacteria will get resistant to it because, as I've said, they've had four billion years to do so, and we haven't seen it yet. I am concerned that there will be plagues going around the world in the not-too-distant future. There are plagues now of influenza that travel around. My patients will come in and get one of these treatments, and they can usually be better within hours to a day or two. Sometimes we have to give a second treatment but that's not very common. These therapies, I believe, will be the cornerstone of protecting mankind from the, the, the coming plagues and resistant infections that are here now. They're not coming, they're here now.